Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris the K. Today we're going to be looking at uh, shell scripts and making sure that our script doesn't more th run more than once on a system. So you might have a process that you want running all the time, but you only want one instance of it. Or maybe you have a cron job that will run occasionally, but you don't want it to run again if it's already running. Maybe it takes a while to do. You want to make sure it runs regularly, but not overlapping. So we're going to add well, basically a one-liner to our script that will do just that. I have this script right here, which as you can see is a simple while loop that prints the date, sleeps for a second, and does it again. If I run this process, and then in the second window down here, I run the same process, you'll see that it will run again. I can open up a third window and run it again, and we may not want that. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill these. and. These notes will be in the links in your description. I have two ways of doing this, and I'll show you why uh, in a moment. Because the first way, although it's the first way, and it seems to be a very common way of doing it, it does not always work, and I'll explain that more in a bit. But we're going to, with this first option, use PID of. At least that's how I say it. So we're going to get the process ID of a process, and we're going to give it a process. Remember, in a shell script, dollar sign zero is the name of the command you ran. So if I just did PID of and the name of our script, it would return the process ID of our script or any script that has that same name. So for example, I can say PID of bash. You can see I have three uh, instances of bash running. These are the P, the process IDs for each of those instances. Uh, there's a little bit more to the command though. We have the dash O and the dash X. So I'm, I'm gonna explain those real quick. If we go um, man PID of, and we come down here just a little bit, a little bit further. Uh, so the dash O, it admit, omits. So we can say, okay, give us the process ID of all the processes with this name, but ignore a process with a certain process ID. And you can see here, the special PID of percent PPID capital is the process ID of the current script. So it's looking at itself. And then the, the X, uh, it says, oh, I think what this is doing is when you run a shell script, it will actually, the process name is bash and then the script name. And I think this is helping take care of that. Uh, but basically just know that it's going to list all the process IDs with the same name as our script, but ignoring the current script. And then we're gonna say ampersand, ampersand, which means if that's true, if we get a result from that, well, then we're gonna echo this error message and then we're going to exit one, meaning we're exiting with an error. Now, if I run this process and I come down here and I try to run it again, it will tell me that it is already running, right? And I can do that over and over again and it won't run as long as that's running. That's great, but what about times that doesn't work? Here, I have a shell on a phone. This is through Termux. I'm SSH'd into the phone using Termux. And if I was to cat out the script, I have the same script here. If I was to go into this script and try to run that same thing, and I run process, and then I come down here and run process, it didn't kill out of it, okay? So the problem is there are different versions of PID, right? So I can do, let's say I did PID of, different version of PID of. So I run that uh, with the dash H option. You can see I get this output. If I also on the same device use BusyBox and say PID of, because because Busy, BusyBox has PID of dash H, you can see it gives different output. Now, I don't know, uh, it's a, it still has the dash O and the dash X option. And I tried to pass it the PID of the script, but I was using the dollar sign, dollar sign. Technically, this isn't bash, the shell we're running. Well, actually it is in, in this. I don't know why it doesn't work under this certain instance. It, it's, it didn't work, okay? Uh, and again, I have two versions of PID on here and I tried both of them and neither of them worked. But the second option does work. And I'm showing you both because when I was looking into doing this, most people use PID of, and it just wasn't working on my Android system but pgrep does. So if we were to go back into the process here, and I will paste this in here. Now, one of the differences here we're using PID of, we're just running one command that takes care of everything for us. Here, I'm piping it into a grep command, so it's adding one more command to our line, uh, which uh, technically is using up a little more system resources, but it's so minimal, it doesn't matter. But what are we doing here? pgrep is basically like PID of, we, we're gonna say pgrep, and then dollar sign zero saying, look for processes with the name of this script, okay? So it's gonna give us a list of those processes with their process, and uh, dash F, I think, make sure it shows the uh, process ID. And then we're gonna pipe it into grep, 
dash V, meaning ignore lines that contain the following, and we're doing dollar sign, dollar sign, which means the ID of the current script. So we're getting a list of all processes with the name, and then we're filtering out any that have the same PID of our script. Uh, and then we're just uh, piping in a dev null so we don't see any output. And then we're gonna say ampersand, ampersand, just like before. If that's true, if it returns any thing in that list, then we're going to exit the script is already running, give that message and then actually exit. So now that we run that, we can do that. And then down here, we can do the same thing and you can see that that works. So that's just another way of doing it. Uh, but again, this is in Termux here, same phone, but I'm in the ADB shell. So the default Android shell. And again, I have the process here. And if I try to run it again, it's gonna run again. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is vim process, and just like before, I can tell you the first PID of does not work. In fact, let's come down here and just type in PID of, and this one's an even different version than in Termux, I believe, because if I do dash H, it gives me an error. Uh, it actually wants dash dash help. So this Android phone has three, at least three different versions of PID of. It's got uh, the two in Termux, one through BusyBox, and one, uh, I believe, standalone in uh, in Termux. And then they got the one that's built into Android, that which is, again, completely different. Still has the dash O and dash X option. So there might be a way to get that first command to work, but it wasn't working for me. As you can see, if it, in fact, I'll prove it. <laughs> Let's go ahead, take PID of, and it could be, again, this special uh, variable here, because the help file isn't saying anything about that special variable. Uh, so I can paste that in here. And now we run processes, and down here we run process. It doesn't work. It just kind of skips over it. So let's go ahead and edit that script again. Try our second option. Copy that, delete, delete, and paste that in there. And now I can say process, and down here I can say process, and it exits out. So again, uh, either option uh, you know could work for you. I feel like this bottom option works more often does have an extra command in there. Uh, I would think that with, again, at least two of the three versions of PID on this system, uh, PID of dash dash help for this one, it does have the X and O option. So we should uh, be able to get it to work. I just wasn't able to, but you, maybe you can figure out. If you could figure out, uh, go ahead and comment in the comments. Uh, if you have another way of doing this, let me know. I, I've, I've seen other ways of doing this that are longer. I like this as nice, short, one, one liner, you know, and uh, it works great. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope not only did you learn how to stop your script from running if it's already running, but maybe you learned a little bit about PID or, or sorry, PID of or PGREP, or maybe you didn't know that dollar sign, dollar sign meant the uh, PID of the current uh, process. And maybe you didn't know about these options of PID of or many other things that I went over. I do thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to check out my Patreon page, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I am filming this on New Year's Eve, so I hope that you're having a wonderful new year and have a great day.